everyone, how are you? I'm just gonna do a very quick video today. I've had a question like this over on my Twitter where someone was wondering how do I make this kind of cool looking half room? And I see this a lot on Twitter, on YouTube, even as thumbnails. People are kind of showcasing their beautiful builds in this particular style. Someone on my Twitter was wondering whether this was an app or is this a program that does this? I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm actually going to do another uh, challenge as well while I'm doing this. So it's the December build challenge by Sims 4 ID over on Twitter so I'm going to uh, get myself a number uh, so seven okay so number seven is only this game okay so I'm gonna go straight into this I'm gonna do it uh, maybe on the same lot as this right over here we've got my game lagging of course we've got this room this is what you would have seen in this picture so this person was wondering how did I get this image I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that don't you worry okay let's start off by just creating a brand new room so let's get rid of all of the objects uh, we're obviously going to change everything to be base game so let's have a look what kind of style are we thinking kind of feeling like cozy vibes I'm kind of thinking maybe like a nice cozy kind of room and then a nice cozy cozy walls as well i don't know what cozy walls means maybe we could go for like a dark brown wall and then maybe just also like a plaster yes that's kind of cute we could go for something like that so kind of modern vibes but it's going to be cozy so again we're going to be looking at one side so the key to these uh images is that you're only going to be decorating one side these walls won't exist but i'll tell you how this all makes sense in in the end i want like a little lounge or like a little office area actually Let's not do an office area because the tables in base game are a bit hideous. So maybe let's do like a cool sitting down area. I've never seen this chair before. Something different. Maybe let's go for a chair on this side. If you press T, uh, the screen will automatically get you to be like straight down on the items to make it easier for you to look. Whether they're maybe clipping through the walls, especially for small little builds like that, it's very handy to know that key. So it's, it's just if you press T, it just gets you to go up a little bit so you can just see that little bit more detail there. Oh my God, it already looks so cute. Definitely a nice, uh, cute little rug okay what about what about this one i'm just scaling it down up and down with the two brackets keys and i think that honestly the two brackets keys that is the best like little tool that you should know about because this rug i wouldn't have been able to place this rug if it wasn't for those keys i'm happy enough to give you as much advice as i can to make sure that everyone everyone's on the same page and we all understand where we're coming from god is there only is there only three fireplaces in the base game well how boring is that oh maybe one of them oh maybe okay we could go for that maybe move the window over a smidgen maybe the darker tone is quite cute then definitely some sort of a painting is required on this wall maybe like even a slightly like a collage kind of design that we did the last time maybe something like that might be quite cute this is stunning i don't know what this is like it's obviously maybe like a tapestry kind of feeling thing or maybe like um kind of looks like a print as well maybe but i love that that is honestly stunning maybe like a smaller one next to it then this again becomes an issue when you're just doing base game stuff this is difficult i'm struggling <laughs> maybe maybe like a little table like that maybe if i make this smaller oh wait that could work like right there okay hear me out fill this room with plantage um i'm gonna just use a couple of interesting plants that i haven't used before see this is why i love those challenges because they're like challenges that are genuinely challenging you and i know i sound like a crazy idiot but i'm like inspired to use things that i don't normally go for and i think that's cool okay i think that's honestly just really really cool uh what's his name this guy shane or something i don't know let's just take this guy maybe his name is shane i do not know wow look at us go okay we need some clutter i'm just using the dot and the comma key to move the objects around um but if you also wanted to place something not just with these angles if you hold down alt it will allow you to smoothly place it all around its axis which is kind of handy as well to know so we'll do the plants there we'll leave the coat rack here there we go we're getting somewhere guys we're getting somewhere i don't know where we're getting we're getting somewhere and that's important maybe like a school bag here as well i can put the school bag on the chair yes okay i'm gonna put the school bag on the chair maybe someone was here and they were studying i think that's what we're gonna do right so this is where we move on to the actual 
image creation. Okay, all we have to do, I say all, but this is what we have to do. You actually have to delete those two walls like this. You do get left with only two walls, so they're the stage walls. Imagine like a movie set. That's essentially what we're creating. Another thing that you do have to do is you have to get rid of this roof. So if you get rid of the roof, you instantly get hit with a nice bit of natural light, a nice bit of sun. That is essentially what we are looking for. Now you can alter the different lights, like the evening kind of time is nice. Nighttime is quite cute as well. So what I'm doing here, I'm not doing any cheats for lighting or anything like that. I mean, I could and I still can. Now what I'm gonna do from here on then is I'm going to just take a few screenshots. Be like that. So, you know, you can move things around now that the wall is gone, just to kind of give it a little bit more space. One more screenshot. There we go. Okay, so now that you've got your image in Photoshop, so you do need Photoshop to create this. You can probably create this in other programs as well. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. Okay, so essentially now what we have to find in this image is your shape. So the shape of the actual room, we are going to go and hit lasso tool. So this is going to be our tool that's going to cut out our image. And essentially this one, I'm going to start clicking on all of the little angles of this image. And that's going to start selecting or picture so you can do this in various ways this is just the way I do it because I find that to be the most easiest way to do it I'm just going to cut out the I guess the rectangle or the no sorry that's a square sorry <laughs> I'm gonna then press Control C or else you can do edit C and copy it and I'm going to open a brand new file just like a regular file like this and we're going to paste a room into this picture. Again, you are free to create whatever kind of image with this you want. But essentially, that is how you get to this part. You can decide for yourself where you want to go from here. You can even leave it like that if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue showing you how I finish, I guess, the rest. So now, once we have this image on a clean background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select like a quite, quite a dark color. And I'm going to paint the background color. Now, depending on the picture, we want to make sure that we are choosing a background color that's going to make the picture stand out. So the darkest one that I choose f chose first was a little bit too dark for me. And the lighter one was just kind of a little bit too light as well. It made the picture kind of hide a lot of detail. So I'm thinking of this middle shade right here. Then I'm going to get my layer with my little picture on it. I'm going to go into a uh, stroke, which is going to create an outer uh, kind of outline of that. So that is a very nice way. You can turn down the opacity if you want to. Then I'm going to also click outer glow, which is going to give you that lovely drop shadow effect. So a little bit of that goes a long way. We don't want to make it too too intense. I'm going to also show you how I created in my last picture the kind of custom background. So the way that I do this is I create a brand new layer over my background but underneath the actual room and I'm going to get the eyedropper tool and I'm going to pick out my kind of main colors in this image. So I'm kind of thinking that this beautiful orange here in the in the curtains. So what I do is I just select a random shape like that with my select tool. On that brand new layer I'm going to create a little shape like that. Now, you could leave this the way it is as well. I mean, it kind of, it actually kind of works really nicely like that. That's quite cute, but what I was going to show you is I was going to select that layer with that shape, and we were actually going to go into filter, blur, and gauze, gaussian blur, and depending on how much blur you want, you can create like a natural gradient for this shape. I think it just adds a little bit of contrast to add a color like that. We could add a green as well. I mean, there is quite a lot of greenery in this. Then again, filter blur and Gaussian blur and yeah, maybe just like a little bit of depth behind that I mean it doesn't have to be perfect the last thing that you can do as well is just create a couple of edits to the picture so I like to use levels so I don't want to make it too extreme but it just kind of makes the image look that little bit more exciting and more eye-catching so I'm just doing vibrancy as well a little bit of saturation and one last thing that I like to do is go into color balance you can also use the dodge and burn tool so for instance dodge tool will allow you to make Make certain parts of the image a little bit brighter so if you aren't happy with how dark this wall is because I guess this wall is a part of the shaded part of the house you can just brighten it up ever so slightly if something is not standing out enough for you you can actually work with that key as well that is what we've got I'm just going to really quickly add my watermark and that'll be everything so that is pretty much everything on how to create that kind of stage room it looks like a movie set it doesn't really look like the sims and it does kind of create a very interesting visual image it's a really nice way to showcase your 
your builds though to be able to show people those little snippets of your style you can create massive builds with this style as well so that is pretty much how you get that kind of cut image there might be people out there that have a totally easier way of creating this but personally this is how I would do it and it is it's pretty fun actually I, I do really enjoy creating these images so I just really wanted to show you since there was someone that was asking and sometimes with these things it's a lot harder to show rather than type on Twitter it's, it's just impossible <laughs> anyways guys that is pretty much everything for today's video I really hope this was a little bit informative for you if you have any other questions if there's something that I didn't explain quite well please do feel free to comment down below or send me a message on Twitter or anything like that I will try and get back to explain this further if, if it was a bit too confusing I mean I tried my best if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more please don't forget to leave a little subscribe and yeah I shall see you in the next one bye